No other city in the world is more connected to its racetrack than Le Mans. The cityscape in the northwest of France is stamped with the legends of the past, which have found a place in racing history here. I know that from my childhood, you know, that fingerprint, I was looking at that when I was a child and put, I was putting my hands in and, you know, all that, uh, that feeling, it's like, when you are a star, a movie star in America and you have your star in, uh, in Hollywood. A city in a state of emergency. That's how it feels in Le Mans each year in the middle of June. The driver's parade is a run-up to the legendary race. A melting pot of motorsports fans, celebrities and the rich and beautiful. The legend of Le Mans lives. The mix of legends and the racing atmosphere up close and personal, together with pure adrenaline. That's the secret recipe for the mother of all races. It's just mad, absolutely crazy. I mean, thanks ever so much to everyone for coming out. The weather's horrible, but they're still here. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. I'm very proud to be part of it. The parade is part of it. It's part of the tradition. It's fantastic. People come close to the motorsport. We are, we are not like beach volleyball or maybe athletic or even soccer. You know, when we are on the racetrack, we are in our impressive cars, driving fast on this fabulous racetrack. So it's nice to have something where we have, where we can um, really join. Experiencing the speed feeling the adrenaline. You can do both on and off the track at the Circuit de la Salle. That it's another dimension. <laughs> yeah. And the cars, uh, they're going, the speed is uh, more than 350 kilometers per hour and it's, it's really very tensionful and, and, and it's very nice here. <laughs> Even star violinist Vanessa May won't miss this spectacular event. This time she enjoys the hustle and bustle of the crowds from above. It's so cool. It's my third time here and I have to say it's my favorite time so far. And uh, to see it from a different perspective up in the helicopter to really appreciate what the drivers are doing and the forces on their body really puts things into perspective. At the very latest, all eyes are back on the track shortly before the start of the race. There's excitement everywhere. The cars start the 24-hour marathon, which brings together man and machine and takes them to the limit of their abilities. The 80th anniversary race, a renewed show of strength for everyone involved. What follows is 24 hours of pure adrenaline. After 378 laps, Audi celebrates a triple victory, the legendary endurance race, and it was a very special win. The first hybrid victory in the history of Le Mans. And this new technology gave us a lot of confidence through the corners, so it's uh, it's great to be part of this, this, uh, this big challenge that Audi has in Le Mans. The 24-hour race of Le Mans. Once again, its legendary status extends even further. <laughs>